<laughs> All right. Well, here's a funny story. This is my final contract. It's the crossbow, the Crusader's crossbow contract. Yeah, and I, I did this video with a lot of really insightful, enthusiastic commentary, hoping that this wonderful technique of basically playing as medic sniper here, or sniper medic, would be the method to get this contract up and see it works very well, except for getting, you know, all the same things that happen to snipers happen to you when you do this. The only problem was that somewhere along the line, someone in the household bumped the mute button on my microphone so I talked to myself to no one for the entire length of the video. So, what you have here is now a reviewing of it. It's, I'm, I'm watching it again. And I'll tell you what, if the wires in these cables weren't so thin, I would be such a pain in the bunch to work if I'd actually cut the darn switch right out of the, uh, the line. Because it's just too easy to... And you know, I, it's my own fault, because I should be able to look at it and see if it's blinking, which right now it's not. But, I'm looking at it as a positive, because this will give me an opportunity just to reflect on the entire contract experience. I zip around my festive Crusader's crossbow, which I noticed today. Well, not today, but I noticed when we were doing this video. I noticed, oh. well, here we go, another... This guy's becoming a problem. Killed by Sheriff NG and he's a pyro. Okay, well, you know, when you're getting camped by a, a pyro, it's very difficult to deal with him as a medic. So I believe somewhere around here... Somewhere around here, I switched over to heavy or something like that, and then took him out. Maybe it was the next life. But at any rate, I noticed that this thing doesn't fire crossbow bolts. It doesn't. Look very closely. It fires what appears to be candy canes. All right, I think this is when I finally got really annoyed. And Let's see what happens after you know. Yeah, this is now hitting the wrong buttons, and then, you know. I was pondering the fact that it was my last contract, so. And I've got a gold stamp, but it's not going to get to Australium. No, why not? I know I switched at some point and took this guy out. I'm just noticing the weird, uh, the weird commentary going on there in the text. You know, if they took out, you know, the the, uh, the voice uh, conversations and the text on the screen, you could probably have this as a, as a teen game. You really could. There's where it goes. Get off of my lawn. And that's a hoovy. I, I really, you know, I don't want to shoot Hoovies. Especially when he's probably just trying to get the, the sandwich contract. And I've done the sandwich contract. We just run around throwing sandwiches at anybody. I can relate to this. Have a sandwich, Hoovy. You two get bullets. And Uber charge. And if you're dealing with Uber charges, don't worry. I actually do get to the part where I'm uh, using this amazing candy cane blasting technique to finish off my last contract. Doesn't start out good. So I finally get to the point where these guys can push out. There I call. Looking around. Again, I'm not entirely concerned about being credit to team. I'm just trying to get so I can get out there and do something and shoot some people. Finish that guy off. He probably blew himself up. With a black box, which makes you feel a little bit better. 
Watch this. Now, I remember this as being something kind of cool, although you... A 45-degree angle reflect on that. One of those times where I really wish I did have the, uh... The flare gun. I don't know why I switched to shotgun. It was something to do with one of the contracts. But... I was in some situation where I need a, uh... A shotgun. Sometimes you need a shotgun. Right now I just need some health. Get shot from somewhere. I just want to get it around the corner. And it goes boof. What was my plan here? Lactating wetness. I always do like that one. Is that really a put down? I mean, if you're a lactating wetness, isn't that the whole point? Okay, so at this point in the game, I said, heck with it. You guys want to play hardball. I can, I can have fun. Blasting the ever living crap out of all y'all. Except that guy, who's apparently a floating, uh, Holy soldier, I can't hit. At least not in that endeavor. Somebody's crit. Oh, there you go. Say goodnight. I'm completely alone on the cart. Killed by the late spooks. And then I get auto balanced. Okay, so I, just as we start pushing the cart, somehow I get auto balanced off. But that was the best thing that could have happened to me. Because the red team is pretty much rolling. And that was a good thing. Because now I could use my special technique. I have a bunch of soldiers and demo men. Who are not so much getting hurt, but hurting themselves an awful lot. I quit dancing around and I will heal you. Come on! Bonk! See this? Back on up. Back on up away from the bonk. See, there we go. A little bit of a healing. And the Crusader's Crossbow has a nice amount of ammo, so I mean, you can do this for a while. Alright, you sit still for me. There we go. And every time you heal a hundred plus, that's a pretty, I guess that's considered long range. And when you've got, you know, people who are willing to stand still for you, and some people willing to shoot you in the back, admittedly. Whoa, that's just funky. What kind of, I, I still can't figure out exactly what kind of move he's got going there. Bobo Milkman. Wildwood Medigun. I don't know what a Wildwood Medigun is. I think I was using my new Dress to Kill Medigun here, although I don't know if you ever see it. Oh, there you go. Yep, that's the Dress to Kill. Well, you know, this is. I think this is supposed to be minimal wear, but there's some of the tapes coming off. Anderson here doing some sprout, so if you hear that in the background. That's what that is. Alright, so someone's trying for medic over here. Check out that stack of hats huh, on the spook senator there. Now you can you can get points on this at least uh at least in the lower levels of uh, things by healing people the conventional way. You know if I score points in medic then I'm I'm scoring points at this point. It's only later that I need the crossbow. The really nice thing about the crossbow is that it does heal you faster as you use it. Got some kind of point there, I don't even sure what. 
What's that? Clip somebody. See now that those long range hits healing more than a hundred. That's the way. You get a long range heal with the crossbow. Kill fifty health with the crusader's crossbow. You get two points there, so you get like nine points every time you get a long range hit on someone who's really kinda needs it. So basically, here I am. I'm just playing a sniper. And not a very good sniper, because I'm not a very good sniper. Um, being a very good sniper is not something I claim. <laughs> just keep launching them candy canes. Hello? I remember thinking at this point, oh, this could be good. You'll notice that almost all of my hits landed. And some that don't. I've been aimed at my own teammates because you get so much more points. Because, I mean, you know. I'm not sure the crossbow is going to put fear into anybody as far as, you know, getting a kill with one. <laughs> All right. At some point, I said, "Yeah, it's a funny thing." I, I didn't realize my microphone was muted. I said, "Call for it, uh, Enderman." And of course, he didn't hear me because my mic was muted. No! It bonked Uber. There should be an achievement for Ubering a bonked heavy. Or bonked anything, really. Oh. Stabbed in the back. Or as I like to say sometimes, backed in the stab, just to, uh. Be com just to say complete nonsense from time to time. I do that. Sometimes it's intentional. Still trying to play the whole sniper method of things here. Sniper keeps sniping. I'm like Enderman was just, Oh, here we go. Blaze of Hoy here. Let's see if we can. I don't know why I tend to put my head down when I'm going into melee. It's, it's something I've got to try and fix. Ready to snipe it up. Okay, there's somebody over there that needs a little bit. As you can see, well, you hardly ever even see any blue. All right, got him. Um, That's a funny, he's, he's firing the rockets just as I'm firing the darn candy cane, so I just get to heal him once. A lot of this ends up really being kind of luck of timing. Mad dick. Mad dick. Mad dick, you mad dick. Almost an air shot. That would have been a classic air shot. Enderman healthy, okay. But now he's covered his tea. Oh, duh. Why am I always shooting a little bit right there? I don't know what that is. That wasn't me, that was, um... Bacon Cheeseburger, or whatever his name is. Regenerate, collect 200 health. Oh, I regenerated just using the crossbow. Hanging out. Regenerated 200 health on myself. 
And that was a two, uh, a two point kick. So, there's a lot of really nice things about, you know, about this. And, and one of the things that I've, oh, there we go. An actual sniper. I took the ball for you. Oh. Well, oh. One of the nice things about this whole contract thing is it does make you use weapons that you wouldn't normally use, and therefore you get to learn new techniques. Like, I'll probably use the crossbow a lot more now. As opposed to just being an emergency weapon that really doesn't do very well. We must stop the cause. Look at that. Just that quickly, we've actually hit the first 100 points. Now, at this point, the only thing I can do is a long-range heal. But I only have to do five more of them. Which is not bad at all. The downside of this whole contract thing is that there are a lot of times it forces you to use weapons that you wouldn't normally use. And, uh, which I know, that's just, I just said that's the good thing, but I mean, for instance, the black box. I eventually had to give up, that was the one contract I had yeah. to give up on, because I could not get bonus points on it, and I was running out of time. I'm fairly certain I got Thank the you. Crusader's crossbow as late as was humanly possible. It was like 11.50 something or, or other, on the Ides of March. I don't know if I would have gotten on. it on 16. Come on out. So that's why I don't have a perfect score. I get banned in the black box. But I don't regret it, because this was a great contract. I probably could have taunt killed him, but I didn't want to take the chance. Thank you. I think I said you're welcome, but he couldn't hear me. These guys are just making it easy for me. They, they know what I'm doing. They know they can get a hundred and some health instantly. They're playing aggressively. It was funny how some of the things were a, a tougher grind than I thought they were. The engineering contracts were way tougher than I thought they were going to be because, you know, I still claim to main as engineer. And again there, I, I never really used the Frontier Justice, but, you know, in the Frontier Justice contract, I actually did develop uh, something of a technique. And, you know, finally got to use that weapon properly, you know. So, yeah, it was definitely a learning experience. Uh, and, you know, should they do this again, I'll probably do it again. On the flip side, um, the time pressure on it. Because, I mean, you know, I don't get to play this every day. Bless you, my son. There, there we have it. After a while, uh, the, the, the other negative about the contract thing is it began to feel like work, because I had to play TF2. I couldn't even really, after a certain period of time, once you got into March, this was like, I, you know? I don't know if you can hear him or not. But the, uh, there came a point where I had to hustle these contracts, so I was running out of time. And it would be nice if the next time they do something like this, it was like, buy the stamp, and then the the contracts are active as long as you want to have them. Eventually, you run out of contracts. But you know, I know, I know they're trying to drive uh, traffic to the servers, and that works. Got myself another coffin nail minigun. That was yay. So, but I, so I, th those were those were my main thoughts. Just to sum up, uh, it was good in the fact that it, it forced me to use weapons I don't normally use. It was bad in the fact that it forced me to use weapons that I hate to use. Nothing else coming. The contracts are completed, though, and I'm circling this here because that's why I missed out on not fishing the black box. That's 17 points. It was 17 points that I could not get on the black box. So that's why I'm not going to have an Australian stamp, but I have no regrets because I wouldn't have gotten it anyway because I would not have gotten the Crusader contract. So, in the end result, that was as good as it was going to be able to get. And let's see. I think I went demo man in the hope of getting some kind of taunt kill on somebody, but I don't think it killed. 
And I said, don't face it the heck with it. Oh, I remember now. The last secret Saxton. Because the contracts are finished. I activated the last secret Saxton. But boom it went to Spooks. And he got a gift. Oh, I tried. And I think they cap it here. Boom! And with that explosion, pretty much that ended my tough break contract experience with birdies and a taunt. In a conga! And so, there you have it, everybody. This is the Black Knight. This is the end of the Tough Break series. Oh, the one other thing I didn't do. You'll probably get a little extra video when it moves back around here. Bye, everybody. Here's the, the, the outro with the congas and the celebration. The one thing I did do, I don't know if I noted this in another uh, video, is that somewhere right around St. Patrick's Day, I said, you know what, there's no point in, like, scheduling these videos out for weeks and weeks and weeks if someone might need some of these tips now. And I had been putting stuff that I thought was really good tips up almost immediately. So I figured out, heck with it. Well, there's still time on the contracts, and there is still some time, I think, to complete the contracts. Uh, I would just dump everything right to the YouTubes there and uh, see if I could be credit to team doing that. So, that to have it. So that's... A, We'll probably go back to a little less aggressive schedule as far as uh, the videos are concerned. But, but we'll still keep stuff flowing to you. And on that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.